Good morning. Good morning. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. LMK. Praise the Lord. 20 Pearls. Welcome. Welcome. Those of you who uh, want to know, that's that's my wife, LMK 20 Pearls that just joined. So thank you for joining in. Rev Gil Burgos. Good to see you again, man. Haven't seen you in a while. Amen. Who else is with us? I want to give a minute to to let some people join. And when you're on, pump the hearts to show your love and show your support. I wanted to share something uh, with you before your day got started because the Lord blessed me with this and I wanted to share it with everyone else. Uh, Psalm 118, 24, I believe, says this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Now, I say this in a day in Houston where the fog is thick. It's going to rain. We're probably going to have some rain and thunderstorms. But I want to tell you that there is no such thing as a bad day. There's no such thing as a bad day. Why? Because this is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has created. This is the day that the Lord has designed for you. And that's why I want to encourage you that there's no such thing as a bad day. Because when I think about the fact that today, this day, right now, as you sit listening to me, is the day that the Lord has made. And not only is this the day that the Lord has made, but every day that he created is a day that he made. And if he made it, then it's a good day. It's all in how we decide to look at it, all in how we decide to receive it. We have a responsibility to own the day, not let the day own us. We have the responsibility to own the outcome of the day, not let the day own us, regardless of what regardless of what uh, your boss does, regardless of what the uh, there are bad events not no denying there are not bad events i'm talking about how we decide to receive our day and how we decide to view the world day one god created the first day he said it was good day two he created the second day he said it was good he created the third day said it was good created the fourth the fifth the sixth day and god looked at all of creation and every day and at the end of each day he said it was very good because God created it. Yes, there are bad events. Yes, there are bad situations. Yes, there are bad circumstances, but we have a responsibility and we have an opportunity to make our day better by viewing it through the lens of faith, viewing it through the lens of God. You don't like your boss, then don't don't let that own you. You don't like your coworkers, don't let that own you. Praise the Lord from Russia. You don't like uh, the, the people that you deal with, you're having struggles in your marriage, struggles in, in, uh, uh, with your children, struggles with things that are going on in your life. I understand that I've gone through it. I've been through it that, but, but what we have to remember is that God has created your day. God has created you. And because you are watching this broadcast right now, meaning means that you have enough breath in your body to believe that God is able to make your day better. Better. He's able to make your week better. He's able to make your situation better. And so I'm rejoicing in the fact that God made today. It's raining. It's foggy. It's going. It, it's. It, it looks bad, but God created the day. So for me, it is a good day. I might have some struggle. I might have some events that go wrong uh, today, tomorrow, or the next day. But God created the day, and therefore I will rejoice and be glad in it. And so I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you that there's no such thing as a bad day. Yeah, we have bad events, but what does the Bible say in Romans 8, 28? He said, all things work together for good to them that love God, who are the called according to his purpose. Nobody's denying that bad things happen. Nobody denies that bad events take place, but God is able to shape and reshape and, and redesign and, and, and frame things so that whatever is bad, he is able to redesign into good. So understand the fact that today, today is the day that the Lord has made. Praise the Lord. My name is Jeremiah Burton. I'm with Ruach Ministries USA. 
I'm your social media evangelist, and I just want to encourage you all, encourage you all to remember that this is the day that the Lord has made. It's not a bad day. Every day that God created, he said it was all good. And anything that the enemy tries to bring about negative, anything that the enemy tries to do to bring about a, a, a bad, a bad, excuse me, perspective on your day, remember that all things, all things, good, bad, indifferent otherwise all things work together for good to them that love God who are the called according to his purpose so take that with you today as you start your day I don't care what you woke up contending with I don't care what you're getting ready to contend with I just want to encourage you that there's no such thing as a bad day because this is the day that the Lord has made so go on and rejoice and be glad in it if you're watching live or you're watching on uh, replay. Uh, go ahead and like, share, comment. I want to encourage you. Thank you for the hearts, everyone who's pumping the hearts. Uh, we need that to continue to increase the visibility. God loves you. Keep yourself in the love of God. And I'll look forward to talking to you again uh, soon. God bless.